So far, everything was great with our search page, but we want to enhance our user interface a bit for the price selection. So instead of typing the mean price and max price in the text box here, we're going to use a slider. Uh, just like what you see here with this jQuery slider, you can select max price, mean price by scrolling this one. All right, this is quite easy to do, and I will show you how to do this in this video. Let's go back to our project. First, I'm going to close this one a little bit. All right, and I want you to open assets, JavaScript, and application.js. So let's say under the dead picker, let's create required jQuery. You are in slot, uh, slider. All right, save. So that's mean we just import the uh, jQuery libraries for this slider. And then let's open our view page and search.html.erb. And here is the one for the pricing, which is this area. All right, now we're going to transform this one. Uh, but first, I'm going to put the div with the ID, uh, let's say slider range. All right, that's all we need to do for setting up there. And then down here, um, we can create another script, that's fine, to separate it with the previous one. So in here, I'll just um, create the function, function. So inside this function, um, first we're going to say um, Q price greater than or equal dot val. Um, we set the mean price is 100. And then we set the max price less than, um, let's just say, 500 for example you can set it to 1000 2000 it's up to you and then we've got the slider range which the which is a div that we just added and we say slider slider all right so inside here let's put some um, parameter range to mean two so that's mean you have two slider and then mean we set to zero and max we have to 1000 and um, this value here is just a default value and this is the value that we set which which is the mean price which is the max price and also we got values um, and here we say 100 and 500 and we've got a slide. For the slide, we've got a function. Uh, plus, as event and UI. All right, so I'm going to copy this one. Copy and put it inside here. Um, so when you slide this one, you can say UI values zero. And the other ones, UI value one. Okay, now after that, we just need to, um, well, that is enough for you to um, run. We can uh, stop here and go back and hit refresh and see what's happening. All right, let's click this one. Hey, look at this. All right, so now as you scroll on, this is gonna update this one, all right? So um, if you want to use this one, so you can stop here, uh, but we want to customize the style sheet for this one a little bit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to say class is ui.widget.header.cls. So we just need to add some CLS here, background. And the value that we're going to add, 00A699. All right and just copy this one and I'll make another one which is the UI state default uh, 
and with the class uh, UI widget content All right we just add the white and the last one uh, let's say this one watercolor we set it to this color all right save it now let's go back here hit refresh let's open this one hey look at this much nicer beautiful now how do I know uh, the question how do I know uh, this ID and how do I know which class should I customize well the best way to do is that open our Chrome console you can uh, and click on elements and you can click this one and inspect all right so from here I know that okay this one is gonna be the class UI slider handle and etc and also if you click on the text box you can see that the name is Q price greater than or equal which is this one here and the other one is Q price less than equal which is a max price All right that's the way I know which the ID that I should set all right so so far so good we have our search function working perfectly along with the Google map we also transform our price range um, much nicer beautiful that's it for this task and I'll see you in the last one